Oh, guys, we are just two days away from possibly the biggest election of our lifetimes. It could be the last time there's a presidential election. There is a lot of craziness going on right now. And people, I, I think, no, it's a weird thing, but I think no matter how this thing pans out, the other side's going to be like, it's a sham! No, oh, the humanity! So, just get ready. No matter who takes it Tuesday, the other side is going to come out saying that there's some sort of sham, that there's some sort of fraud, there's something happened. Oh, they cheated the system! Donald Trump treated the system! Joe Biden treated the system! Just get ready for it. It's going to be all out craziness by Thursday. I don't think they're going to have anybody announced unless it's a straight up, you know, landslide one way or the other. If if Joe Biden winds up taking it in a landslide, then maybe it happens before. If Donald Trump takes it in a landslide, maybe they run it into 2024. Oh, oh, fine. We'll say he was the president for the second term, but we're done. We're up to the next person. <laughs> Marin, how are you? Daniel, how are you? Vintage, how are you? Sparky, good to see you here. I'm so excited, you guys. And Havoc's in the house tonight. I'm loving it. Good to see you, Havoc. Guys, we're going to get into it, okay? And I'm just kind of excited to be over this entire craziness, if you, if you really want to know the truth. I can't wait to get to Wednesday. Although Wednesday could be worse than today. We need this right now, guys. Give me the woohoo. Who wants the woo-hoo? Who needs the woo-hoo? Woo-hoo! I needed that. Guys, who did I have the woo-hoo? Douglas, how are you? And Angelo's in the house. Well, Angelo, check it out. There's no sleep till Brooklyn. <laughs> I know. I went down there. Oh, Douglas, how you doing, buddy? Uh, he says, look, whatever happens, dude, I eat Wheaties. Look what happened. Look what they did to Bruce Jenner. That's true. Look, Pensy, did you see what happened to Bruce Jenner? Yeah, no longer. Yeah, he's... No, he didn't die. He became a woman. Dad, it's okay, though. Pensy, you have to be okay with these things. It's 2020. I know you're so devout with your Christianity. And I mean, look, I get it, Pensy. I get it. But you have to expect that people change. And sometimes they change from a world-class athlete to someone named Caitlyn Jenner. It just could happen. I'm letting you know, okay? Uh, but uh, look... <laughs> Samuel in the house, misinformation here with me. I'm loving it. Guys, it's crazy. You come down Sunday night. You talk the talk and you walk the walk. I don't know. But Christopher Walken can take you to the election in style. Look, who are you voting for, Chris? Everybody wants to know who are you voting for, Christopher. Guys, you kidding me? I'm an actor. I'm voting blue. Boo, boo. Whoa, no, I'm just kidding. I'm voting Trump. Whoa, easy does it, people. You crazy. You crazy. Look, no matter who wins, we lose. What do you mean by that, Mark? Well, come on, let's think about it. This nation is like, I've never seen this where people hate each other over politicians. It's ridiculous. And it's, it's, it's actually the existence for the last four years for each and every one of us, which is why I started this program. So I often say, no matter how much you hate this guy or you like this guy, you should thank this guy because without this guy, this guy would never have shown up to put on a show for you every day for the last 672 days in a row. 